Hey guys, I've got an exposed module to show you today. It's called Chrome Pi. It's available in the exposed installer. Don't forget to activate and reboot for the module to take effect. Now this module adds Pi controls to your Google Chrome and Chrome Beta if you have it installed. If anyone remembers the AOSP browser that used to come built in with Android before Chrome, that had quick controls and it's basically exactly like that, but it's now on Google Chrome and it's pretty sweet. For you guys that just don't know what I'm talking about, if we open up Chrome Beta here, you can swipe in from the left or the right hand side and you'll see this kind of Pi configuration configuration and these are essentially quick controls for Google Chrome. I have it set up with back, refresh, full screen and close tab. I also have a sub menu with view tabs and open a new tab but it's very quick and easy. I can put this in full screen mode here and I still have access to all the options. I can press the refresh button very quickly. I don't have to go to the three dot menu. I can use the back option and it's just very quick once you get used to it and especially with one handed use. I find it very easy to use. You can see I'm just using my thumb here whereas normally I'd probably have to use my other hand or shuffle the device around so I could reach the top bar. Now my activation points currently are the entire right side and left side so you can activate this from pretty much anywhere on either side but be aware if you do get too close close to the top or bottom of the screen you can see it kind of cuts it off even if you go into full screen mode it helps but you'll still get a little bit cut off. So if we dive into the module here we do have some settings we can mess around with and the first one is the trigger side. Now you can either have the right hand side, the left hand side or both which I currently have active. Now underneath that we have pie slices and you can have as many as you want to but if you have too many it will get cluttered and basically make it unusable so I'd say keep it around three to four. If we go into number one you can see I've got the main item set to back and you also have other items if you want a sub menu. For example slice four the main item is closed tab but I also have options for show tabs and new tabs so you can uh, you can fit more in that way but if we create a new one here we'll create uh, slice 5 and the main item you've got loads of different choices you can just see how many you have here you can have history bookmarks request desktop site we'll, we'll use that one for the main item for item 4 we'll make a sub menu for this uh, for this section we'll choose the incognito mode and we'll also choose I don't know add bookmark and one more history that'll do now for it to take effect you do have to restart chrome there's an option for that right at the top and we now have that option at the bottom of the pie and going to that will show the sub menu with all the other options we chose like incognito mode, bookmark and history. So using sub menus like that will give you a fair amount of options without making it look too cluttered to begin with. And once the muscle memory is kicked in, you've learned where everything is, you can basically control all of Chrome's options just by using this pie navigation right here. I for one am really happy to see this module. I was a big fan of the Pi quick controls in the AOSP browser and I'm glad to see there's now an option to use them on the stock Google Chrome browser as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.